Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be all about twin flames versus soulmates. What both of those mean and the difference between the two. Also, the runner chaser dynamic associated with the twin flame relationship. Steps of a twin flame relationship in general. This video is mostly going to be focused around the twin flame because it's something that not a lot of people truly understand or even really hear about most of the time. I feel like soulmate is a more common term. I also just want to apologize in advance for this like really weird backdrop. This is actually low key my shower curtain because I'm in the process and moving. I just tried to film it over there, but I have like blank walls. So this way you guys get a little pop of color and I'm standing up, which I never do in videos. So it's kind of weird. I want to give a disclaimer before jumping into this video. If you guys know, I have a YouTube friend I'm really close with who made a video like this recently that was taken down. And I did go ahead and ask her if she would be okay if I did the same video, because I know that a lot of the time in this industry, if you make a video just like somebody else did, like on the same topic, then people will assume that you copied them, even though this is something that can be researched. And she knows this YouTuber knows this is something I have been passionate about and interested in and researched for the longest time literally years before I even met that youtuber or that youtuber filmed that video before I did YouTube myself and I actually told that youtuber about the whole twin flame relationship before she knew about it because I was able to recognize that she may have had a twin flame relationship in her life because I knew so much about it from previous experience and just my own research so this is a really interesting concept and for people who haven't experienced this personally because it is a very rare connection it may be a a little bit difficult to understand just like anything else in life if you haven't been in the shoes of what I'm about to explain then you're not gonna fully get it it's gonna sound like a fairy tale it's gonna sound like a conspiracy theory I 1000% believe in this but that is a little biased because I believe that it is something I have experienced and when you know you know like if you've experienced this you'll know it won't be one of those things where you have to reach or try to force things in your own personal situation to fit the steps because it happens too coincidentally and I don't believe in coincidences I believe in destiny. I believe in fate. I think that everything happens for a reason. I think that if you're on your way somewhere and you forget your wallet and you have to drive home, you probably missed a drunk driver on the road. Nothing is a coincidence. If all these match up to something that you've experienced with your twin flame, that's because they're your twin flame. Soulmates are people you work out with very well. They're someone that you hypothetically, you know, knew in a past life. Somebody that you get deja vu with. You already feel connected to them in some way you cannot explain. You just have a special bond. And this person could be your teacher, your mom, your best friend, someone you're in a romantic relationship with. But it's not that you have one throughout your life. In fact, you will have multiple. The difference between a soulmate and a twin flame is that a twin flame, you can only have one because the idea is that your soul was split into two when you were created and that other person mirrors you. A lot of the time you guys are in the same career field, the same ish industry, or you guys have a lot of the same interests. You guys are a lot alike, but at the same time, very different. You could go through several lifetimes without meeting your twin flame, but it doesn't happen until you guys are both spiritually there and you guys are spiritually ready and on the same wavelength. And the thing is you guys will all always be on the same wavelength to a sense. It's like you guys are literally a part of each other. A split soul, you guys are literally the other half of each other. That person is someone you have known more than just throughout your whole life, throughout many lives. But that doesn't mean that you're supposed to end up with them in the 3D world. This right here is a 3D world. I can touch everything, I can see everything, I can describe it to somebody because people understand what the 3D world is. The person who is your twin flame, and this is where I sound like super crazy, they are somebody that you experience on a 5D level. It cannot be understood because it cannot be explained. All your senses are awakened. It is such an unconditional love. It usually breaks you out of a shell and makes you realize who you truly are. It's almost like you were waiting for that person, but you didn't know it until you met them. You guys can pretty much read each other's minds, feel how each other is feeling. And this doesn't mean that it's 24 seven, but you guys just have a deeper understanding. You guys could be with other people. You guys could fall in love with other people. The love that you guys have for each other is so unconditional. It'll never go away no matter what you do. And nobody will ever get you the way that your twin flame does because they are you. We're not talking about an abusive relationship. We're not talking about your first love or some guy you thought you loved back in high school or really liked or even a person you were madly in love with. This is a whole different ball game. You were meant to meet them when you did and exactly how you did. And a part of you knows that and a part of you will feel like you're coming home. Like you have been waiting for this person your entire life. It's pulling you away from everything else you have ever known. Maybe you're already in a relationship with somebody else. Maybe this person just wasn't what you thought you were looking for in any sense, but they were. They weren't your typical type. Maybe they weren't even the same gender that you thought you liked. There could be a lot of things like they change you. Not only when you start dating them do they change you, but they will change you continually throughout the relationship and afterwards because the relationship, the 3D relationship may end, but the relationship you have with your twin flame will never die out. It will always be there and you guys will reunite. It may take you years. It may take you a long, long time.
time, but you guys will always reunite. And usually that happens over and over. They call those steps six and seven. One person is the chaser, one person is the runner. In some of the strongest twin flame relationships I know, they are interchangeable because you take on the roles of both at some point. And so when the chaser is chasing down the runner, trying to work things out, trying to reconcile their differences because the ego gets in the way of 3D relationship, one person's not willing to let go. It doesn't mean that the other person is willing to let go, but they're really trying to and they're running away and the twin flame is chasing after them and they're wondering if the runner is thinking about them too. And the runner can literally cut off the chaser. They are completely capable of doing this. They're capable of doing a lot actually. The runner will hurt the chaser in many different ways and the chaser will hurt the runner too, which is probably why the runner ran to begin with. The runner will not let the chaser know that the runner is thinking about them every moment that the chaser is thinking about them. They're constantly thinking about each other. Like when one is thinking about the other, the other is already thinking about them. It's never like one-sided or somebody loves the other person more. That can happen with the soulmate. That can happen with a regular 3D relationship. But with your twin soul, with your twin flame, it's on such a 5D level that cannot be explained because we don't understand the fifth dimension. It's not something that we can see or we can interpret. And this will happen for years. This will happen over and over and over. Or one person is running, the other is chasing. One person's chasing, the other is running. And when they finally catch one another, that's step seven. They usually talk through things, let go of their ego a bit. But usually you go back to step six and then eventually get to step seven again. And that's why most people do not end up with their twin soul, their twin flame in the current lifetime that they're in unless they're spiritually ready to do so. Like you have to be super woke. You have to have basically already dealt with this twin soul in multiple lifetimes before like many different lives. If you've ever had an astrology composite reading done where it's your chart and another person's, the astrologer would sit you down and be like, okay, you guys were lovers and yeah, like seven past lives. And that's why when you guys hurt each other and someone runs and someone is chasing, it feels so much more intense because you've experienced this for multiple lifetimes. It is my belief that everybody has a twin flame, but not everybody meets them, at least not in multiple lifetimes. Twin flame relationships force you to grow in ways that you wouldn't be able to be forced to do so with other relationships. A lot of the time, the person who's running away is running because they know that they would literally screw over everybody they love, everybody they're loyal to for this person. I don't want to the word unhealthy but it's on such a level that they like have to remove themselves from the situation and the chaser is usually willing to be like screw everything else I want to be with you unconditional love is first they're both constantly growing and it's always parallel to one another they're usually going through the same things around the same time that doesn't mean oh this person moved to Alaska so this person moved to Alaska too the same exact time that's not what I'm saying I mean personal growth spiritual growth a lot of the time when the two souls meet they may not be very spiritual yet. They may be just finding themselves. But this is not to be mistaken for a false twin flame because I think a lot of people think their first love is all that to them and more because they may be watching this video like, oh, this all applies to me. I don't think that it's impossible for your first love to be your twin flame. I think actually in a lot of cases that's super common. But at the same time, you could be really old and married and have kids and meet your twin flame and it ruins your family life and your marriage because you can't help the feeling and people will go out of their way for this person like I just explained to such a degree they know that they would literally leave everything they have and start all over a million times for this person regardless of what this person did to them and vice versa soulmates people we knew once or twice you know like they were chill they were our homies back in the day just we don't remember it because it was a different life but our twin soul they're literally us usually if the twin flames do get to step eight or even as they begin to near step eight like step seven a lot of the time that's because they have become a lot more spiritual in the time they had spent apart you could try to lose feelings for them but they will never go away they're soul. You can still feel it. There are just going to be things that happen to you with this person that you cannot understand or explain. You guys will text each other at the same exact time. People do that all the time, but I mean like after not speaking for years. This topic is so broad that I'm not even really sure like what else I could touch on in this particular video. If you guys want another one, let me know comments down below and I could answer questions or I could talk more in depth, but that's just a little preview of what a twin flame relationship is as compared to a soulmate. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you have experienced a twin flame relationship, you'll know. I know I don't normally do videos like this on my channel, but it's something that I really enjoy talking about and it's kind of like a part of me. And I told myself that in 2018, I want to do more content, not necessarily like this, but just outside of the stuff that I typically do on my channel, like story times or drive with me's where my friends and I are twerking or conspiracy theories. Like I'm still gonna do all that, but I wanna incorporate a lot more of Ali in who I am. Subscribe if you are new here. Don't forget to follow my social media. I will have those links on the screen. I also have a Patreon if you guys want exclusive photos, private Snapchat and more that will be linked below and I will see you guys in the next video. Later all getters. Bye.